Sean Ray here from Muscular Development TV in front of the world famous Gold's Gym. We are on the eve of the upcoming 52nd anniversary of the Joe Weider Mr. Olympia weekend in Las Vegas. And we're going to go back and take a look at how this actually came to be with his brother Ben Weider at his side. Joe created the Mr. Olympia weekend back in 1965 when we saw Larry Scott win the first two championships in 65 and 66. He would then give way to the, the uh, big Cuban. The myth, Sergio Oliva would go on to win the Mr. Olympia in 67, 68, and 69. And then the arrival of the Austrian Oak, Arnold Schwarzenegger would go on to rattle off six consecutive Mr. Olympia titles from 1970 to 75, step aside to pursue a career in acting, and his training partner, the Sardinian, Franco Colombo, would win the 1976 Mr. Olympia in 1977, Frank, uh, Frank Zane would win three consecutive Mr. Olympias and the first ever to receive the Sandow Trophy in 1977. He would, have, he would hold all three of those titles, 77, 78, and 79, without ever breaking the 200-pound barrier. Frank Zane was the first classic physique in the Mr. Olympia history. Arnold Schwarzenegger would come out of retirement and win in 1980 in Austria. Some people would say that, uh, Australia, some people would call that a controversial victory for Arnold Schwarzenegger. I called it a runaway victory for Arnold. In second place was f uh, Chris Dickerson. But before we get to Chris Dickerson in 1981, Franco Colombo would win his second Mr. Olympia titles. Uh, and then in 1982, the oldest Mr. Olympia, Chris Dickerson, standing a mere five foot six inches tall, maybe, and barely 180 pounds. Chris Dickerson, at 43 years old, was the oldest Mr. Olympia champion to that time. And then in 1983, the Lion of Lebanon, Samir Banu, would come on to win his one and only Mr. Olympia, personifying condition and size, and yet still was under the 200-pound uh, weight category. In 1984, we would see the coming of the totally awesome one, Lee Haney. Lee Haney would win his first Olympia. And hold on to that for eight consecutive years before he retired in 1991 in Orlando, Florida, uh, at the young age of 31 years old. In 1992, the shadow, Dorian Yates, would come following up his first runner-up in 91. In 1992, in Helsinki, fin Finland, he would rattle off six consecutive Mr. Olympia titles, not without some controversy in there with Kevin Lavroni and myself nipping at his heels. But in 1998, we would see Ronnie Coleman, the big nasty, according to Lonnie Teeper, he would leapfrog from 1997, where he placed ninth place, over all these Hall of Fame bodybuilders, future Hall of Fame bodybuilders, and Kevin Lavroni, Flex Wheeler, Nasser El Sambadi, to win uh, the Mr. Olympia title for eight consecutive years. Following that, he would get defeated by Jay Cutler as he pursued his ninth title, and Jay Cutler would rattle off two consecutive titles. He would lose in 2008 to Dexter Jackson, but he would come back to win in 2009 and 10 before the reigning and defending champion, Phil Heath, would win his first of five consecutive Mr. Olympia titles. It brings us up to speed as we head into Las Vegas. Well, Phil has five titles, and if he wins number six, he'll be tied with Dorian Yates and join the company of Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, Ronnie Coleman, and, of course, Lee Haney. Um, how elusive is it that Sandow Trophy coming up this September for the other bodybuilders nipping at his heels. Last year, Dexter the Blade Jackson was very close, and it could have gone either way. Dexter Jackson, 46 years old, will be 47 this year, is definitely hitting his uh, stride right now. He went all the way over to Australia, and he won that title over there in Australia, the Arnold Classic. Uh, Dexter Jackson is doing phenomenal things at the advanced age of 46 years old. One of the things that he has on his bucket list is to regain the Mr. Olympia title from Phil Heath. But what does Phil Heath have to do to remain the champion? Phil Heath actually probably has to come down a couple of pounds, sharpen up, and get in the best shape of his career. The judges are looking for some changes from Phil the Gift Heath. If Phil Heath brings the same package as last year, a couple of guys may be able to slide in there to victory, and that's not to rule out uh, Sean Roden, who's a vastly improved bodybuilder. Notably absent this year will be Kai Green for the second year, along with Dennis Wolf, who was injured. So it leaves us with a couple of other guys. We've got big Rami coming into the competition. He's been a work in progress, slowly hitting his stride. He hasn't had a lot of contest experience, and he's maturing right in front of our eyes. He's going to bring an X Factor to that stage without a doubt. And of course, we can't uh, overlook Dexter the Blade Jackson nipping at the heels of Phil Heath. And now, a lot of people are kicking around 
the name of Kevin Lavroni, a Hall of Fame bodybuilder, one of the winningest pro champions ever. 13 years in retirement coming out. We cannot exclude this guy from being an X Factor in this competition. At 52 years young, this past July 16th, Kevin Lavroni's got his work cut out, but a lot of people are holding on to the past, hoping for big things, and looking for a new lucky number 14. While Phil Heath is a, a, a champion worthy of the title, there's a lot of people coming to Las Vegas looking for an upset, and there's only a few guys that we could probably throw in that uh, mix. Uh, one of the guys that we're looking forward to maturing in front of our eyes, Dallas McCarver, Justin Compton, couple of notice, noticeably older guys uh, still have their name in the mix in the terms of Victor Martinez and Branch Warren. We don't know where they're going to be, but they're going to be on that stage. So look for us in Las Vegas where all of these questions are going to be answered. Will Phil Heath continue to hold on to that Sandow Trophy or will it slip through his fingers and we have a lucky number 14? Stay tuned to MuscularDevelopment.com where we're going to be on the ground from Wednesday to Sunday, recapping and highlighting and, and promoting the Mr. Olympia competition here at MuscularDevelopment.com. We'll have our A-team on the ground. Look forward to you guys following our play-by-play -play September the 16th and 17th, live from Las Vegas. But right now, here in Venice Beach, I'm Sean Ray, MuscularDevelopment.com.